Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you ever wonder how these molding are made, like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, then you are in the right tutorial. Because today I'm gonna show you how to make moldings. So first of all, we're gonna have some profiles. Just search for molding profiles. You can have variety type of moldings profiles, and then you have to load this one into Blender. So go to Blender and go to the front view. Then I'm gonna load this image into Blender. Here. So I'm gonna take this profile okay so for this one is a reference image I would I would turn on the transparency and reduce the opacity then I'm gonna turn off display perspective to turn out in turn out the uh, image in perspective only show when you are in the front view Next, I'm gonna activate the selection and deselect this one. This will make you disable the selection of the image. So I'm gonna add a new plane here and then go to the edit mode. In the vertex mode, I'm gonna right click and choose merge vertices as center here. E to extrude right here and then E again to this one and continue to this one and then for this one I will extrude it to this point and into this point then I continue to do the same thing so in this one you have to you need to turn on the snapping mode the vertex snapping and then when you hit G and Z then you can hold control to snap it with other vertex like this and then you can hit A and hit F to create a face now for this one you need a curve here and a curve here so i'm going to select this vertex and hit ctrl shift b to create a bevel based on this vertex i'm gonna increase the subdivision so i'm gonna need 16 or something similar do it again with this one ctrl shift b if you control B, you cannot bevel the vertex. Control B is just for edges that you can bevel the edges. But for vertex like this one, you have to control shift and B. Like so. Then you already have a profile. Okay. Next is an easy part. You can use the solidify modifier and choose the thickness of the molding. Like so. And you also have to shade smooth this one and then go to the normal here. Click auto smooth. This will auto smooth the round corner here. Okay. This is uh, very efficient when you do the single molding, like a baseball, baseboard or base of the windows. So this is one way to do it. Another way is a feature that Blender support is the variable modifier. I'll show you how. First, you have to have an cube. 
Okay, I'll just get it down. Let's get it to the side and Okay, I'm gonna put it here. So control A and apply scale. Very important. In the edit mode you have to choose an edge. Then you hit control B to bevel it. Like so. In the custom profile you have the feature that allow you to create a custom profile for the molding. You can add some point to control the, the curve or you can use the preset that Blender already support here. So this one doesn't have uh, enough segment to recreate this one so we need to increase the segment here and I think just about 32 is enough you can see it here and then another one another one or you can do it your own just make your profile like so okay but the disadvantage of this method is when you when you switch over the object and the uh, edit mode you cannot change the uh, you cannot change the profile of the modernist so another way to do this is you select this edge and in the item item tab here you can increase the bevel weight up into to one and then you can use the bevel modifier and click on the weight now what it does is it will only affect to the blue lines here which is the weight one the other one the other edges is just zero and then you can do the same with the bevel tool that you have 32 segments and use the custom profile and in this one you can basically change the profile as you wish and also change the offset value here okay, it, this is just another approach of the uh, same uh, method that you can change the uh, profile wherever you want okay but the other method is efficient for doing the molding for a house just like baseboard you want it to go around all the walls here so you have to do another approach because when you do this one let me take an example so when you do this one you have to slice like this uh, face like so and then you have to extrude it extrude it go to the this side and then increase the bevel weight and now you have a, a corner and it will take so much time to do so I got another easier way is that I'm gonna need this profile I'm gonna duplicate this one and then remove this one rotate it by the X direction negative 90 and control A apply rotation and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit object and 
convert this one into curve then you have a curve here okay I'm gonna leave it like that then go to the top view I'm gonna add another curve and this curve will change to poly then I'm gonna trace around the walls here that will be the direction of the molding I'm using the snapping snapping tool to snap to the walls it will make it easier to do just hit control and it will snap and release the control it will unsnap okay now I'm gonna move this one to the base here and in the geometry I'm gonna go to the bevel section and choose the object as the profile that we made and now you can see it's already done I'm gonna shape flat this one okay so you got a problem here is this one is bigger than the rest and this one is bigger than the rest too so my method is I'm gonna make this curve close not open like this one so I'm gonna make it close like so right click and toggle cyclic and it will be close like so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert this one into mesh and then I'm gonna delete the, those vertices and then scale it in the y axis scale it with the x axis and then the problem is solved and of course you cannot change this one you cannot change the profile again the thing is to fix the problem you have to make the line closed and I think I hope this video is helpful and you can learn something from it you can create some details for your interior with this molding so I know it's been a while since my last video I've been really busy at this time so I try to release more videos for you release more helpful tips and tricks and I hope you guys like this and don't forget to subscribe see you again next time